Hey kids, it's JJ. Got a really fun one for you today. Um, basically, one of the things I started out with, with uh, when I got into this hobby was building drones. Actual GPS enabled drones, blah, blah, blah. And I was using what was called, none of you, <laughs> some of you might know what it is, but it's called an APM. And an APM, you could program waypoints into it, you could fly away, you could, you know, do all these fancy things. One of the things that bothers me is my company made me get an iPhone. I fucking hate iPhones, right? So I do have my old uh, Android, I have a couple old Android phones. So that's really all you need for this. Check this out. What this is, this is so we can wires, wirelessly communicate with our flight controllers. You can do this with Betaflight, CleanFlight, iNav. Uh, iNavs for drones, and most of us run Betaflight. Um, is very, very simple to do. Uh, first off, you're going to need one of these. This cool fucking envelope that comes with magic powder. You shake it, and it works. Now, what this is, is this is a Bluetooth module. Okay? Bam! Look at that. That's a beautiful thing. So, I, these are like, oh shit, I think I bought four of them. They're like $4 a piece. Very cheap. And how it used to be, well, how people do this, is they'll actually install this into their bird and um, program it via Bluetooth through your, your phone. And I'll get to all this in a minute. Here's what I'm doing, and I haven't actually installed it yet. I took a 3S balance lead. You can buy these off Amazon or wherever else. I'll put a link in the description. This thing only has four pins. Voltage, ground, transmit, and receive. If you take a 4S balance connector has four, I'm sorry, 3S has four wires. Wire that into your flight control board. Positive, let's see, this is an Omnibus F3. So we got our, uh, where's my trusty pointer? Any trusty pointer? Come on, fucker. All right, don't know where it's at. That is a total mess right now. We got our positive five volts, ground, UR1, transmit which is going to go to the receive module receive pin and the receive mod pin that's going to go to the transmit remember whenever you're hooking up bluetooth or any type of serial communication to gps etc your flight controller transmit goes to the receive and the receive of the flight controller goes to the transmit don't go transmit to transmit you'll get a it won't work but here's my thinking, instead of installing this, I have like, how many birds do I have? Like 28 fucking birds between quadcopters, minis, and uh, drones. Here's what I'm gonna do. Go out and buy 3S battery balance plugs. That gives you four wires. Wire them into your control board and you are one, two, whatever. Then simply, and these wires are really long, I'm gonna shorten them up. So if this is my flight controller, I'm actually gonna mount this, give me a bird here. I'm actually going to mount this little socket, if you will. Picked a hell of a bird to do this with. Let's just say, for instance, right here. Then all I ever... <laughs> shit. You get the idea. I'm going to install that right underneath the frame, and then all I ever have to do is just plug this in like a socket. Bam! Bluetooth enabled. Boot up your bird, and you can do it. So I'm going to give you an example of how this works. And I'll, I'll give you a quick uh, computer screen rendition after this as well, so you guys can see how to set this up. The reason you might want to do this, you're probably thinking, well, I can change all my PID settings through um, my OSD and Betaflight. That's true. But you can't change everything. If you have one of these things set up, you can change everything. You can change your everything, absolutely everything your PIDs, your configuration setup, your orientation of your board. So if you get out in the middle of the field, you got a brand new build, you're like, fucking A right. And you did not offset your board by 90 degrees for whatever reason, or uh, say you wanted to change something in your OSD for whatever reason, all you need is an old Bluetooth enabled cell phone or your current cell phone. Um, and you just plug this into your bird socket right here. This way you guys can have 50 birds, 50 quadcopters, and one module. And these things are cheap. I bought four of them for like 20 bucks. But I'm going to put some of my own shrink wrap around here. Just make sure you plug it in the right way. You can't short it out. It's pinned, so even if you get it backwards. But I just made mine so when the ribs of the plug are down, uh, I want my pins up. Plug that in. Connect. Do your stuff. Zoom. Done. Fly away. You, you can just stick this in your flight bag and you're done. 
brilliant fucking idea if I do say so myself. So, I'm going to show you how this works. And after this little quick video here at my messy Yoda desk, uh, I'll do a screen record of how to set this up in Betaflight. It's stupid, stupid simple. So, I have a power source, just because I'm lazy, I plugged in a micro USB power source. And I'm going to plug our, uh, oh shit, which USB was I using? Doesn't matter. Well, actually, it might. We're going to plug this guy in, bam, and we're going to boot up our board. This might not work. I might have to use that one because of the MAC address. Okay? If nothing to see. You see that little... Uh, red blinking light. I think it's red. Um, it's blinking fast. Open up your phone. Go into, this is an Android. Go into your settings. Go into your Bluetooth. Make sure it's discoverable. I'll put a link in the description of where to get these little things too, by the way. Uh, it's probably that miscellaneous one right there. So I'm going to switch actually. Yes, I'm hot swapping. Probably not good. All right, so I'm going to suit, and then you just connect. If it asks you for a password, these particular ones I got Banggood, and I also believe the Amazon ones are 1234 uh, for the password. So download Easy GUI, Easy GUI. It is free. This is Android only. Um, I'll do something for an iPhone, maybe. I don't really care about iPhones. Um, but um, Easy GUI is basically, think of it as Betaflight on your fucking phone. Absolutely awesome. Hit that. Okay. And then we're going to hit connect. Watch, going to make a liar out of me now. Yeah, maybe it was the other one. My bad. Bear with me. I shouldn't have gotten all cocky with that. That's okay. There we go. So, flashing fast. I'm going to hit connect. Bam. Connected. Fail safe is on. There you go, kids. Now, I'm just going to give you a quickie run through of this. Um, you can turn off that annoying sound. I have not done that yet. Um, information tells you this particular board I'm actually running iNav on. If you have Betaflight, it'll come up with Betaflight. Uh, tells you you're in aquatics configuration, all this good stuff. You can also flash firmware through Drone Flasher, which I do have that app. I used to do it all the time. Um, slide, dashboard one, this shows you your gyro. Check that shit out, pretty slick. Um, and you guys can go through this. This is not a tutorial on this app. I can do one if you need. Um, but you can go over, hit GPS info. I don't have any of that hooked up right now. Graphs, maps. So if you guys are running iNav or drones, like I like to run sometimes, like EWOD and stuff, you can actually hit your mission planner button and wham, look at that. Um, I don't have any of this hooked up right now. So it's, but I can actually say, uh, here's home, waypoint, 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 fly over to Blackhawk's house, upload, bam, have the quadcopter fly there. You can't do that with beta flight. Those are for drones only. But slide this over again. PIDs. Here's your PID settings. Look at that shit. These are all stock. Um, I can go into this and change my PID. Uh, 3.2. Okay. Bam. Then hit this button and that will send it to the flight controller. Send. Yes. Bam. That is now 3.2. Um, Let's say your strength, your angle, your level, throttle mid. Let's say that's something you might want to uh, adjust. Throttle mid, let's take that down. Let's go 0.9. Okay, send. Now you can change a bunch of stuff. You can change everything, then hit send. You don't have to do it every time. We'll hit back, back out of there. You got your flight modes. You can change all your flight modes. You can change your configuration. Um, of all this stuff, Roll, board alignment. This is beta flight on your cell phone, okay? Very, very cool. Now, you can have it so like if I go ahead and arm my quad, it'll tell, it, the phone will say armed. And if you have GPS, it'll say you are flying at 22 kilometers an hour and it'll do all that stuff. It'll transmit if you leave this plugged in while you're flying. However, Bluetooth does not go far, okay? So, eh, kind of useless. If you're using like uh, robotics, um, what was that shit I used to use with APM? Um, 
3DR Robotics Telemetry, that those work really well, but eh, that's a whole other thing. Black Box. Uh, you can even go into your CLI. Bam. And you can type, just like in Betaflight, let's go version. Enter. iNav 1.73. We can hit set small angle equals 180. Enter. Bam. Hit save. Bam. That's it. So you even have CLI on here now. I'll probably have to reboot the whole thing now. I'm not sure. Um, calibration, ports, black box, logging. Uh, lots and lots of cool stuff. Basically, if you can change it in Betaflight, you can change it on here. Six bucks, kids. And if you take my idea and take a 3S balance plug, you can wire these, because most people don't use Bluetooth on a quadcopter, a standard racing quad or something. Let me just connect that. Because uh, it's added weight. Well, really, if you just put a port plugging off the side of your bird, like I was trying, let's pretend that's under the plate, just like that. Look at that shit, kids. Bam. Okay. Just plug that shit in there. Do your thing. Unplug it. And what have you added? Maybe a gram, but you don't have to fuck around with your laptop at the field. You can use your phone. I'm sure there's something for iPhone. I really haven't researched it yet. Um, but either way, uh, very, very cool stuff. So give me 30 seconds. I'll shoot over to my computer and uh, give you a quick, quick walkthrough on how to do this. Hang on. Hey kids, now here we are. Now, I've got that same board booted up. This is very, very simple. The same rule applies for iNav if you guys are building drones or uh, Betaflight, which is gonna be the most popular one, obviously, to do. So plug your board into your pooter, hit can connect, and this is the exact same board I had before. Uh, it's a blank board. I just wiped out the iNav because I don't, it's a blank board. Uh, um, but what you wanna do, go down to ports, Bam, right there. And pick a UART that you're not using, and that's really all you gotta do. And you gotta make it an MSP. So in the case of out in the garage right there that I showed you, I have it physically wired, and this isn't just uh, Omnibus specific. That's the board I'm using, but this goes for any flipping board you're using. You guys are usually gonna be using, like if you're on Omnibus, you're gonna have UART 3 uh, set on serial probably for your receiver, and then just use one or two you know, if you're using, uh, usually in beta flight, you're not using a ton of UARTs anyway. iNav you do. Um, and I'm going to put these on uh, definitely all my drones and possibly my quads too. I haven't decided yet. Uh, but anyway, out in the garage, we had the one on UART 1. You want to make you whatever UART that you wired it into an MSP. And with this particular uh, Bluetooth, put it on 9600 baud. I fucked around with this forever thinking it would work on uh, 11, yeah, you know, this number here, and it did not, it worked on 96. Hit save and reboot, done, that's it. That's all you gotta do, finito, okay? So, one quick disclaimer. If you wire into UART 1, and you do not have what's called a virtual COM port, let's just say it says USB up here, and you wire into UART 1, UART 1 shares the USB port, you will have to disconnect from your computer to connect your Bluetooth to have it work. If when you, most of our stuff out here nowadays does have a virtual COM port, so most of you wouldn't even, won't even have to worry about this. Like in my case right now, I've got that hooked up to UART 1 and I still have my virtual COM port. And right now I can connect that Bluetooth to this all day long while my um, beta flight is hooked up. So very, very simple. I will put links in the description to, um, the Bluetooth units that I have. And if you just search for that certain type on Amazon, uh, you can get them there as well. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know. And uh, this is a really cool trick. All you need is your cell phone. You can make all the changes you want in the field. And I have had that happen where I get cocky and I think, oh, I, I know Betaflight inside and out and I'll set shit up. Won't test it. Get out into the field. Bam. Doesn't work. Fuck me. So you're not flying. Uh, this way you just keep that little Bluetooth unit in your bag, plug it into whatever bird you've got, 
whip out your cell phone. If you're running a drone, you can be, have your cell phone out in the field. You can program waypoints and then do your little missions, you know, that we all play with with drones. Or if you're just running a mini quad, or a regular quad, sorry, um, you can uh, change any setting you possibly could, I think, that I know of, in, uh, in Betaflight. So I hope this helps you guys out. If you have any questions at all, I'll be glad to help you. Take care, kids. Bye.